Good morning. Hi, my name is Robin, or Texas Mom 2011, and today I'm your guest vlogger. Uh, I'm, uh, I am filling in for Julie today. Um, she is uh, on her way back to um, Paraguay. So, um, let me give you a little bit of background about me. Um, I have my own channel, Texas Mom 2011. And I had the vertical sleeve gastrectomy July the 11th, 2011. So I am one year out. I have not reached goal. Um, my highest weight um, ever recorded was 236. I am five foot one. So that is a lot on a small frame. Um, today, uh, the last month, I'm kind of at a stall. I range from 161 to 163. So it goes back and forth. I keep losing those same two pounds and gaining the two pounds back and forth. My goal is to be uh, about 125, 130. I'm not real sure yet until I reach it uh, what I'm going to want to stick at. But so let's get on to today's question. Um, the topic is nighttime eating. So here's the question Do you struggle with this? If so, how do you curb your evening cravings? Is there a certain hour? Is there a certain hour you do not allow yourself to eat past? Okay. Before surgery, I was not really a nighttime eater. Um, probably because I ate so much, um, I wasn't hungry. Very seldom did I eat anything after dinner. Um, if I did, it would be popcorn. If my husband cooked it or something like that, if we were watching a movie. After surgery, different story. I really struggled with this in the beginning for a long, long time. Um, I think because I could only eat so much at a time and I was eating like every two hours, um, it became to where I really noticed, wow, I'm eating a lot. I mean, if I had dinner at six, eight o'clock, I was eating something and it was healthy things. I mean, it may be a piece of cheese, um, a little bit of yogurt, something like that. Well, then 10 o'clock, I would also eat something too. So it seemed like I was, the, I noticed it about six months out to where, why am I doing this? Um, it became more of a habit than me being hungry. So um, I recognized it. Now, what I do, not saying it has stopped, there has been, I, I really thought about this probably the last, um, two, three weeks, that I'm not doing it quite as often um, to the extent I was. What triggers it is when my husband does it. He's a nighttime eater, and he goes and gets something, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, there's some food in there. I could eat, I could do that, so I do it. Um, but I've noticed there's been a few nights that I have not um, done it. What I'm doing instead is coffee, decaf coffee at night. Um, my treat addiction thing that I've went to, I've, I've never been a big coffee drinker. I only had like my one cup in the morning just to get my caffeine to go. Never really cared for the taste of coffee. But since surgery, uh, I still do my one cup in the morning to get my caffeine. But if I have it do, during the day, I do decaf. Um, usually in the afternoon I do it. And then in the evening, that's what I've been trying to do. Eight o'clock or so, I go and I make me a decaf. Um, you know, caramel kind of latte drinky thing, you know, like Starbucks does. I have tons of Tarani's, sugar-free syrup Tarani's that I use. Um, I use milk. It's usually half milk, half coffee, uh, an iced coffee drink. And um, I've been doing that in the evenings. That, that satisfies me. It gives me the little bit of sweet and, and I'm good to go. Um, if I do have something, it's usually a piece of cheese. Um, it's really hard, and again, it's not because I'm hungry. It's it's this is all a mind thing to me, um, it, it, and it became a habit. That's why I was doing it. So, if you're really really hungry, I suggest you eat something. If you're not, talk yourself out of it. Find something else to do. The reason. Um, 
What I do in the evenings when I'm done with everything and sit down to relax, I put my laptop in my lap in front of the television and, you know, I catch up on Facebook, I watch YouTube videos, um, while my family's sitting watching television or something, so we're all in here together. Um, that was my mindless thing before. I would sit there before surgery, watch YouTube videos, and just have something in hand, eating. Um, you know, at any time of the day. Excuse me. But um, I'm finding that that's, it's, I'm bored. I'm just sitting there and reading or watching a video, and it's just I need to do something with my hands and put something in my mouth. Gum helps. If you can chew gum, chew gum. I've done that too. I haven't fought too much with it lately because I think I've kind of got it under control. But if I find that I am putting calories in I shouldn't be getting past 6 o'clock at night, then I definitely would go back to the gum. Um, the um, coffee drink is about 100 calories because of the milk in it. But I figure I'm getting some protein and, you know, it satisfies me. But I don't think that's the cause of my stall right now. Um... I don't have uh, like a certain hour that I don't allow myself anything I should and that is something I probably will start doing if anything I would say past 8 o'clock nothing if nothing except water in my mouth past 8 o'clock if I was going to do that and that's probably something I'm going to start doing so I hope this helped y'all and thank you for letting me be a guest blogger today I uh, um, hope that y'all got something out of what I said so I will see y'all later bye